Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about sweet cravings and healthy alternatives that I eat or drink to fulfill them. This is a question that I get asked so often, how do you fight sweet cravings? And I wanted to show you a couple of my favorites because if I didn't have these, then I would definitely eat ice cream every single night. So my go-to is always, always, always fruit. I always have a variety of fresh fruit in the house and every time I eat dinner, I always need something sweet after. So my favorite is clementines and pineapple. I always have clementines in the house and then I always have a pineapple and I usually just cut this up and put it in a Tupperware and just get it when I want it. If I don't have those, my second favorite is bananas. Bananas are so good. You can do so much with this banana pancakes. You can put it on rice cakes. Um, you can just, you know, put it in smoothies. There's so many things you can do with bananas. I really love pomegranates, even though they make a mess when you're cutting them, but pomegranates are always great to have. Little kiwis. Apples, of course. Apples with a little bit of cinnamon and dunk it in um, peanut butter. Amazing, or almond butter. I really love to have blueberries in the house. I could probably eat this whole container in one sitting, but that's okay, because blueberries are very healthy for you. And then, grapes. I love grapes. I love when they're really crunchy and cold. So, fruit is amazing for you, as you've learned your whole life. Fruit is so good for you. So fruit is always my go-to. But if I don't have fruit, then, I always have this in my freezer, Halo Top Ice Cream. It is so, 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 so good. It's my favorite ice cream ever that is healthy, of course. And it has so much protein. This has 12 grams of protein in it. And the flavors are actually really good. This one's pistachio, not too crazy about it, but I'm in love with pistachio ice cream, so I thought I'd give it a try. But <clears throat> Red Velvet is the best. They have peanut butter chocolate. This is from Whole Foods and they actually started to sell it at Market Basket, I think, but definitely give this a try. Healthy alternative to ice cream and it's amazing. Another thing that I do is I chew some gum. I love, Icebreakers came out with so many different flavors of gum and they have so many like sweet fruity flavors. This is kiwi watermelon and I could eat this whole container in like a day. <clears throat> There's only one piece in there. But gum is really great, especially if you're out, you, you go out to dinner or you're at a friend's house and you just finished eating and you just want to throw a piece of gum in your mouth. You're not going to want anything sweet after you're chewing something sweet. Another thing that I do is <clears throat> I try to find like a no calorie, no sugar drink and I was really loving the Fuse drinks. I'm not sure if they stopped selling them but I can't find them anywhere. But I found a couple others that I really like. This one is Core Organic. It is coconut culotta. It's not the greatest taste, it's, it's very, very, very sweet for my tasting, but I mean, it, a couple sips and I don't want anything sweet after that. Um, but it is really good. It is organic, it has antioxidants in it, it's gluten-free, it's vegan. Um, so this is something that will curve my cravings. And then this is also something that I really love, it's sparkling ice. And I get it in strawberry lemonade. It's basically just sparkling water that's flavored. But if, I don't know if you can, probably can't see this because the bottle. But it is zero in everything. Zero calories, zero fat, zero sodium, zero sugars. And this is something that's really good um, when you want something sweet. So another thing that I do is before I go to any of these, I drink like a whole glass of water because sometimes when we are really thirsty, our body mistakes it for being hungry and then we just snack and snack and snack, but in reality, we really want water. I got this cute jug from, I think Walmart. It's just under a gallon of water and I'm just trying to drink more water anyways because water is essential for daily living. I don't drink enough water as I should. Yesterday, I think I drank 
maybe like half of a bottle which is horrible my lips are so chapped right now because I'm dehydrated so before you go to any of these options try to drink a glass of water and see if it kind of fulfills that craving if not then these are healthy great options and the last thing that I do is drink my BCAAs this is in the flavor Jolly Rancher Watermelon and it is so good. In the summer I like to make little popsicles out of them and just grab one when, when I want something sweet and cold. And also I make little gummy bears out of this which I'm going to show you in just a second. So if you don't know what BCAAs are, they stand for Branch Chain Amino Acids and basically people drink them before, during, and after their workout because it helps with muscle growth and it helps with soreness so, so if you had a really good workout and you drink this it will speed up your recovery time for your muscles also the one that I drink has glutamine and collagen collagen obviously to keep your skin nice and looking younger and glutamine is in there to prevent muscle catabolism which is basically the tearing down of muscle so these also keep me hydrated because it is a sweet drink I don't mind for some reason with water, I have a hard time drinking it, but if I have like a little crystal light, which also crystal light is amazing. I have some pink lemonade crystal light in there or, or this, I don't mind drinking it. So this is extremely simple and easy to make. All you need is some water. You need a half a cup of cold water and then two cups of boiling water. You need your BCAAs. Make sure it's a good sweet flavor because you're making candy. And then you need some unflavored, no sugar added gelatin. So what you're gonna do is you are going to mix three packets of your gelatin. You're gonna mix a half a cup of cold water And then three scoops of your BCAAs. You are going to mix that very well. And you want to keep stirring it until there is no powder left. So the next you're gonna take two cups of boiling water and pour that in your mixture. And it's gonna be more watery now, so keep mixing that. The thicker consistency mixture is going to just basically melt into that. And then when you are done with that, you're going to pour it into your molds. So I took them out and I put some of them on a napkin so you can see, but they came out so cute. Look at the little beer. And they taste amazing. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. That is going to be it for today. Those were my tips for fighting sweet cravings and definitely give those little gummy bears a try because they are so good. But if you like this video, please give it a, a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already doing that because it helps support it. But I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.